Hi. Hi, <clears throat> good afternoon everybody. Uh, myself, Uma Shankar. Uh, I'm giving introduction to Android game controls. How, what type of controls are available, available for Android gaming and what are the software modules available for, uh, for controlling game objects and all. Okay. And me and uh, Jay Krishna prepared this topic. Okay, we'll go into it. And this is basically uh, about games. Uh, time is games, games, games. How many of you play games in your Android mobile? Yeah, that's really good. Most most of you are playing go games in your mobile. Like, and see, uh, I'll jump into the next slide. If you look into evolution of uh, Android games, the first generation games are coming from the JTME games, game core set. Basically, those are uh, ported from JTME, like just 2D games. I can show you that here. Yeah, the first one here is like, uh, yeah, this one. This is a 2D game ported from JTME. Like, uh, this is a NFS shift, and the Next generation games are like uh, specially designed for. Next generation games are specially made for Android. Those are real 3D games. Uh, this is NFS Hot Pursuit. I'm showing only racing games because I like uh, these games, racing games. Okay. And coming back to this, like uh, apart from regular uh, Android games, uh, only on the mobile, like. Uh, Android consoles also coming into the market, wherein you can play your uh, favorite game on uh, your PC or your uh, handheld device, apart from your regular uh, mobile. So those are like one of the one of the devices. Oyo, this is like uh, just a Kickstarter uh, device. Uh, it'll be soon in the market. If you are if you want it or if you like it, you can uh, uh, just pre-order it. And the next one, like, uh, see, if you look into the di look into the difference between these two games, this is like uh, just 2D game. In the early stage of Android games, uh, we used to do basic 2D games only, and that time there is uh, no more processing power, there is no more uh, GPU stuff and all, but current Android devices are support uh, supporting more processing and GPU and other resources as well. The basic features are like uh, see with the current devices, we have all these features: software and hardware features, basic features like uh, accelerometer, gyroscope, and if you want to control your device uh, object with your speech, you can do it with uh, speech synthesis, and you can do do computer vision. You can use computer vision technology just to communicate with uh, your game object. I'll I'll explain this computer vision technology at the end of the session, uh, how we can do that. And next to this. These are the special hardware devices available in the market now. Like, uh, if you are uh, more into game, game playing, if you want joystick kind of control for your games and for your device, you can use these kind of uh, hardware devices available in the market. This is the Mogo. It is like, uh, just uh, put your device here in this uh, place, that's it. Uh, you can use the joystick controls from here and all. You can use it. And this is like uh, PlayJoy. Sorry, this is, uh, it's a phone joy. Uh, it works with uh, your Wi-Fi, phone Wi-Fi. Like it communicates with the phone Wi-Fi and uh, it gives you better controls for your existed games. If those uh, games are made for this phone joy device. 
basically they are providing some kind of uh, SDK to communicate between your uh, game and their joystick. Okay, and there is one more device like uh, named it Nyko. This device is like uh, the NVIDIA group and Nyko Corporation made this device. Like uh, this is a very interesting device. It supports uh, many controls. It gives many controls for the developers and for the gamers as well. And this is not in the market yet, but uh, soon it will be there in the market. If you are if you are a developer, you can try the SDK, like uh, how to use it and what are the advantages of this device and all. And the next one is like uh, Gmode. This is uh, very old in the stack. Like uh, the Gmode is used from the old days. Like uh, when we start, uh, sorry, like uh, it, it was there from the beginning of the JTME games. That time, like uh, this has only few controls. Like uh, only four four joystick control, only left, right, up, and down, and then uh, OK button. Uh, this is supporting uh, nowadays Android devices. Like uh, even this has some special SDKs, wherein um, we can integrate that SDK to develop uh, games for G mode. And coming to next, th these are specially for your mobile device, like. Uh, wherein you connect, communicate with the device and play it. So next one is very interesting. With these devices, if you are able to play your Android game into your device, I mean sorry, into your uh, TV, assume you have a uh, 29 inch TV or you have a plasma TV, you, are, you want to play your three game, like uh, which you liked most, I mean, your favorite game in your device, you can do it with these controls. Like uh, there are uh, almost all Android device supports TV out options, but uh, those things are hidden. And those things are like uh, nowadays your device are coming with HDMI port, but earlier device uh, using TV out, TV out on USB, like uh, with your regular mini USB, it supports TV out, and some devices are support. Some device supports like uh, Galaxy S. It supports TV out on 3.0 mm jack. It is just like uh, using your. Uh, oh, sorry, it was different actually. Okay, and then like uh, with the combination of TV out option on these available hardware devices, developers can make games just like console, just like console. Like uh, with this Nyko and PhoneJoy, these devices are like, uh, it gives a real experience like you are playing game on PS3 or PS2, something like that, or in Xbox. And these are very cool stuff here. Yeah. And next thing is within hardware, we have a few more thing, uh, things to discuss here. Like, uh, uh, not because of these devices, Android games are uh, getting popular. Android devices are coming up with the quad core graphics nowadays, graphics processing units basically. And with the advent of uh, newer processing units, people are uh, making rich games for Android, like uh, 3D stuff and other controls they are adding it, uh, voice communication with your game, something like that. Those stuff uh, stuffs are coming in, in, uh, into the user hand. And next one is motion recognition. This is like a bit interesting thing. Uh, we've seen like uh, Kinect is supporting very cool stuff without controls, without any control like uh, even joystick or nothing. With just your bare hands, you can control your game. That kind of stuff you can do uh, with the OpenCV plus Android. This is there is a 
a library called OpenCV. This is an image processing library wherein we can detect what are the uh, gestures are happening in front of the camera. So, and this, this in interesting OpenCV is available for Android, all the Android, all Android versions like uh, Android ARM processors and Intel and uh, some other like, uh, yeah, other uh, processors are available for the Android. Even for that, it is available. Like, uh, it's di directly including libraries and start working with that. And the possibilities with the OpenCV, it is like, uh, it is just like a, image processor, right? So, it gives you the options what, what you are doing in front of the device. I will just show you a uh, video how we, we can do this. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Just, uh, Check this video. There is a ball, and with the open CV, we are recognizing in in a real time how it is moving around. No, no audio. I don't want audio. It's it's done. Yeah, this is that simple. Like, if you want to use your, uh, yeah, this is already done, right? Uh, I'm closing it. Let's come back to. Uh, OpenCV possibilities. Okay. Uh, just now you saw the video of uh, OpenCV implemented within the Android device, which is recognizing the ball movement. It's a kind of gesture. Not only ball movement, uh, it provides even more possible uh, options. Like uh, you can identify your fingertip, finger fingers. You can identify your palm. You can identify user head movement, user uh, eye tracking. There are even more uh, options are available with this library. All things can be used within game. And let's. Uh, now assume you have TV out and you have motion recognition and then you have a joystick. See, with the joystick and TV out, what we can do, we can play the game with the joystick in front of the I mean, in front of your TV and all, right? And now, with the advantage of OpenCV, what we can do is uh, just uh, connect your device to the, your TV and start your game and start playing. You can start play with that, right? Like uh, uh, if your game supports this feature especially. And we are expecting uh, future games will come with this option like uh, open, you can connect to TV directly and you can start playing from there. This is very interesting and magical part. And next one is like, uh, I'm, I'm just coming back to a few slides. Like, uh, yep. This. Uh, in the traditional games, yeah, we have a uh, few types of games. Like uh, we we have casual games, we have action games, we have uh, we do have other type of games. Whenever we play casual games. Mostly we use touch screen. Apart from that, we occasionally we use uh, some special controls like uh, something like gyroscope or any image recognition kind of things. Okay. Uh, and next one is like uh, action games. In the current market, there are uh, Many action games available for Android devices. And with that, you can directly 
use these kind of uh, devices to play with that. And especially for developers, this is very helpful information, like uh, wherein just take your game into the market with these options so that your uh, user will be more happy with the, those controls and all. And I think I'm done. Uh, question and answer. If you have any questions or any doubts, please. Hi. Uh, Hi. I just had a question. You said TV out on USB, right? Yeah. For those phones. Um, how do you do that? I mean, what's the, uh, is there a tool? Because yeah, there are a few devices available in the market, like uh, HDMI. No, not uh, HDMI. You said on USB, right? Yeah, Micro USB. HDMI to USB converters. With that, you can use. If your device is not supporting uh, regular US, mini USB, you can use uh, HDMI converters to that uh, existed USB port. Like okay. few uh, few vendors are uh, supporting USB directly, and few are uh, supporting HDMI directly, and few other uh, vendors are supporting uh, 3.5 mm jack. 3.5 mm is the audio jack. Yeah, it's an audio jack, but uh, if you look into Galaxy S device, it supports TV out in that jack itself. Uh, next is Galaxy S. Ga no, it's a Galaxy S. Samsung Galaxy S. Oh, okay, thanks. Okay. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay, if there aren't any more questions, I think we'll wrap up. Uh, we have a break for about 30 minutes now. Uh, oh, hang on, there. I think it's one, there's one more question. Yeah. Uh, hi, uh, I just wanted to know if you have any thoughts on ad hoc gaming. So if a couple of us are sitting like at a uh, at a bar or something, you know, uh, and we could all just, you know, join a game or something like that and start playing. I mean, nothing very complex, but something simple multiplayer like tic-tac-toe or something like that. Do you have any thoughts on that or do you know anybody who's doing anything in that same field or something like that? Yeah, for now we don't have anything like that. Like. Uh Maybe future games will come up uh, such kind of uh, come up with such kind of options, wherein you can sit in front of your TV and you can just start playing your games, or you, or maybe if your bar owner I mean ready to invest such kind of uh, things, that can be possible. Hi. Hi. Um, what are you most excited about? Sorry. Out, out of uh, what you've talked about today and um, stuff that you obviously have left out because you had too much material, what are you most excited about? Uh, uh, what what sorry, devices, yeah. what, I mean, uh, what input devices, what output devices um, that plug into Android? Wh what, what sort of really floats your boat? I mean, there's quite a lot of uh, excitement around um, uh, Ouya, uh, for example, and uh, the Pocket TV. Um, could you speak about any of those? Uh, yeah, really, because uh, as we are game developers, we are uh, always looking for new options, I mean, new controls for the games. And even we are, uh, currently we are not planned for these kind of game development, but in our future games, we'll be including all those things. Uh, is that you expected? <laughs> Technology in the sense like uh, Uya is a, like uh, it's a Kickstarter project. The uh, the guy started it uh, with the backers help and now it is uh, I mean getting life and maybe in two months down the line it will be in the market. That's it. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. So uh, yeah, uh, we break for about half an hour, uh, but uh, just to announce this one more time, at 5.30 
uh, we're going to have, uh, 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 well, uh, you're going to hear announcements uh, for the lucky winners of these contests that Intel have been running. I think there's still time for you to participate if you haven't done so. There's a bunch of goodies they're giving away. Um, 4.30, there's some stand-up comedy happening here. Don't miss that. Um, and uh, do drop your feedback forms after you fill them out in the basket by the registration counter and your NFC cards before you leave. Thank you.